She's a runner, she's a track star She gon' run away when it gets hard She can't take the pain, she can't get scored What's good guys, so pretty much in today's video We're gonna be going uh, Okay, I go Alright, so in today's video, I'm gonna be going over Sunday Swings That's gonna be right after this quick introduction um, I'm gonna be giving a giveaway, so stay tuned for the giveaway I'm gonna be giving away probably $500 or $1,000 worth of BTC And then probably give one or two people a free spot in my Learn and Earn uh, monthly subscription no. So I've been getting a lot of messages regarding uh, PIP uh, So I got some news about PIP uh, Pip died. So, yeah. Sucks. RIP Pip. Patient Pip. Profit. Take profit. Whatever you guys want to call him. Does suck. But um, I did everything I could. I literally went out. I bought him the biggest cage. I got him the best sand. I bought him all types of berries that Google told me. Everything. Sorry, Pip. too soon all right pip pip so thank you pip for that fucking winning trade literally our first breakdown was with him our first win of the week was with him so it is what it is but um so i'm gonna be putting now the sunday swing breakdown check it out let me know what you guys think and then for any more free content make sure to check out the instagram telegram all that stuff see you guys This is huge, right? Um, you can tell that this is a huge bearish engulfing candle, pretty much engulfing one, two, three, four, five months. Now we have the wick pullback to like create the lower high on the lower frames, complete rejection. Now we can anticipate a very, very, very nice move to the downside. You go out to the weekly time frame and then very cleanly on the, let me put this here, very cleanly on the weekly, we were bullish. High, low, high, low, high. We broke all of these structure levels, came down, literally created a lower high at previous support, acted as resistance. Now we are heading to the downside. You go down to the daily time frame, and then very much the same thing as the daily. The daily was bullish in a sense, well, it was bearish. Low, high, low, high, low, high, high, low, high, low high low high now we've completely violated all of these structural levels including this one right here notice how the body closed under this structure level let's make this black cool right so now we confirm that we have monthly weekly daily and you go down to the four hour and obviously the four hour is bearish right i was actually interested for those of you guys that um were obviously in the other learn and earn i was actually interested in going short or long at this point because when you look at this like this it was at a point that it was a very very strong resistance 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 support support and it could have very much acted as support to then rise up right but when you look at it like this it looks very very clean for those of you that were in the other chat i very strongly explained guys it can come up reject this ninety thousand, this round psychological level ninety thousand. it is obviously a strong resistance 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 it could come create the head and shoulders at this area of interest and it could plummet Coincidentally, that's exactly what ended up happening. And I didn't want to sell at this level here because once again, I'd be basically jumping into a two foot, like a two foot pool and basically bashing my head against a two foot pool because it's literally going to come and it could have lots of probabilities of rejecting this area. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not interested in that. I'll just wait for the retest of the neckline of the head and shoulders. So that's exactly what happened here the retest of the neckline of the head and shoulders, retested um, structure. Hold on, let me get this out of here. Retested structure, it retested the structure level, it retested EMA. You could have done many things, FIB from here to here. 
But I also didn't take this trade because, again, the bearish engulfing, which is my entry signal on the four hour, was at this strong support level. You see it? It was, and I like it could have been something like this. Yeah, strong bearish momentum, but you are at this zone where it has high probabilities of rejecting. So I'm like, you know what? I don't want to risk it. I'll just wait for the next clean lower high. Obviously, we didn't get it. Price just continued melting. So now what I am and what I am anticipating for this is any lower high, I am going short. What do I mean by that? Any pullback to either this area of interest, right? Why? Because this area is a very strong resistance, 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 body support, and it can very much come up, act as resistance. Or we can have the cleaner play, which is what I rather have, which is this. And it come and it literally gives us a right shoulder right at this area of interest. So you would go down to the four hour and then it would be the four hour play. Price would trickle up into this area. And then we will wait for some clean rejections here. So then go short, but it's just a matter of seeing where it decides to stop at. And when you cross this over to CAD JPY, this looks beautiful for a buy. So again, we start off on the monthly frames, monthly time frame, very, very, very strong bullish momentum. You can't doubt that it's broken out of bearish structure that it, it's been bearish for two and a half years. You see all of this monthly, this is the monthly frame, guys. You see all of this bearish momentum and we've literally just violated all of these lower high structure points right so now we are anticipating a pullback to previous resistance resistance to act as support and then go when you look at it on the monthly frame what a coincidence that it's also monthly structure and then previous monthly body you go down to the weekly and it's also weekly resistance weekly higher high structure and then you go down to the daily and it is daily very very strong resistance resistance now we're waiting for the higher low to act as support to then go this is literally textbook trades and this is what i love looking for and it's not even that because if we're looking for short-term cad weakness right because we have cad jpy CAD weakness to then CAD strength that lines up in correlation with our NZD CAD to come up. That means if this comes up NZD CAD, that means CAD weakness to then the drop equals CAD strength. Does that make sense? It's very clear, very, very clean price. Now it's just a matter of waiting for this pullback. I am personally not interested in taking the counter trend trade. Yes, it might be nice. I personally don't like doing that because we could get a little, you know, um, like a day trade or something like that to uh, to this area here. We might have a stop up here and then get a little trade to here. But we're going against, which is what I hate doing, we're going against the masses. You don't want to do that. Trust me. You don't want to do that. So if the trade's worth the risk, I'm, I, I'm, I'm lying. I, I probably won't even take the counter trend trade, but it's clearly at a very strong level of resistance. Now it has a high probability of rejecting this area to then have the pullback to our area of interest to then go long. What a coincidence. By the time that this pulls back, it'll also line up with our EMA and then it'll act as support and all that good stuff. Let's see where the daily EMA is. It's a little far, but still. AUDJPY, um, for those of you guys that follow me on Instagram, you guys saw it with my, with my turtle. Um, this is as textbook as it gets. So literally daily time frame. you have, well, first of all, you have this, right? You have like this triangle or squeeze, whatever. I'm just drawing it out so you guys get like the visual of what happened. It was being squeezed in, it's broken out. Now it's literally retesting it, but I don't really care about that. What I care about is more of structure. You have resistance, support, resistance, resistance, literally now breaking out, retesting, acting as support. Once again, textbook, textbook, textbook. You go down to the four hour and I'm going to be quite honest. If this would have presented itself in tomorrow in the morning, at nine in the morning, we would have taken this trade, no doubt. Why? Because we're at a strong level of 
support, resistance, 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 rejection from EMA, support, I mean, resistance acting as support. We have a four hour morning star uh, formation, all that good stuff. But what I don't like is how the monthly, and this probably might be a little too advanced for right now, but what I don't like is how the monthly hasn't really had a wick fill. Now, what I mean by that is like every single month, and I can't make this up, like just look at the chart. Every single month has a wick fill, wick pullback, whatever you want to call it. Every single month has that little tail, little tail, even something as small as that. And that's enough to on the weekly be a wick. So it'll look something like this. It'll look something like that. And then when you go down to the daily, it'll be a whole ass move, or it can be something like that to create liquidity. And then that's what stops us out. You get me? And then it's four hour structure and all that good stuff. So I, I want to avoid that wick out. It's going to look a lot cleaner on another pair that I trade uh, that I'm going to show you guys now. But what I'm anticipating now is a confirmation that we're rejecting this area, which will be a double bottom rejection from this EMA. And then it'll be definitely worth the risk. Um, GBP CHF. So this is actually a trade that was sent out in the other in the other group. It's just textbook guys. Like it's really not rocket science. Um, you have very clean high, higher, low, high, higher, low resistance acting as support higher high then we completely violated this higher low this higher low so what are we anticipating for a pullback to previous support resistance to act as resistance and then go down it's really that simple guys there's no need to complicate it and if you look left this level is also a very very strong resistance support resistance what a coincidence it comes back up rejects as resistance but what a lot of people tend to struggle in is waiting for this pullback i waited eight nine days for this pullback and i will wait another 12 days for hit my take profit you get me and it's something so relaxing you make so much more profit it's so much more easy on your psychology but it takes time to practice so what we're going to start implementing is a little more interday trading like holding trades for a couple of days instead of a couple you know like multiple days but this trade right here i didn't take this one so let's take this one out very simple what do we have right high low let's draw this out now we have a break of support, support. What are we anticipating for? A pullback to act as resistance and then go. We're going with the trend. The trend is now bearish. You could clearly look on the weekly. We have a very strong weekly bearish under this body structure. So this wick pullback, it's going to look something like this. We're going to enter on this wick right here. You see that? It's going to look something like that. And then we're going to enter on that wick and you go down to the daily and it'll be a daily wick structure, whatever you want to call it. And that's where we're going to enter our next trade to go short. By the time that that's by the time that that does pull back, this EMA would have caught up by that time. Blah, 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 blah. Right. So this is a very, very, very nice one. You can look at it like this if you want. Um, retesting the neckline of the head and shoulders. I wouldn't really consider this a head and shoulders, but if you want to throw that out there but the example one i'll give you guys is euro usd so monthly time frame right every single month has a wick every single month has a wick even something as small as that this month is yet to have one so i am not interested in this yet right i personally want to go long here Wait, is this? No, it's this one. Look at me looking at the wrong one. But this is this is a perfect example. So we're very much bullish on this. Despite this formation, this was clearly bearish, right? Low, high, low, high, low, high, low, higher, high. Breaking all of this bearish trend that it was in for a very long time. You go out to the weekly frame and then the weekly was bullish now it has gone bearish 
I am anticipating a long based off of the daily time frame. You go out to the daily frames and it is potentially forming a very nice head and shoulders, right? Now, this right shoulder, I don't believe it's gonna be here. Well, one reason is obviously it's a very strong level of support, 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 and it could act as support to then go long. But I do believe we're going to come down to this level, which is the other shoulder and what I was talking about, that wick. It can very much create that monthly wick just to have liquidity and it will pull up to the previous wick. You go down to the weekly and that will be just another wick at these areas of interest that is very, very strong resistance support, support. It can very much come down and support. And then on the daily time frame, it can be a fill of this empty space. So we're looking to enter somewhere in that wick if it does. Now, if it just happens to go bulls from here, another reason why I don't want to buy is clearly the four hour has gone bearish. You have high, low, high, low. We've broken the four hour higher low structure. So we can literally come up to this level right here and use it as resistance and then have a drop down. You get me? I don't want to sell that. Obviously, when we're bullish, we're above the EMA. Now we're under it. So it's very, you know, contradicting. I don't want to force a trade. So I either want rejections from this area or if it does reject, all right, cool. I'll just enter at the retest of the neckline of the head and shoulders, which is here. And it is also a very strong resistance area, support, resistance, resistance. Once we have that push up, I'll wait for the retest to go long. That simple. Um, so these are the main ones I'm looking at. You guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up. Cool. So I'm going to stop the recording.